so we saw there were certain things that were not explainable by the classical physics and and in the last video we saw that that certain certain phenomena okay certain phenomena certain phenomena that was not explained by classical physics and the first in that line was 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 the experiment that we did in the last video and that was that was the the black body radiation right the black body radiation the second in line is the second in the line is the photoelectric effect okay the the photo electric effect the photoelectric effect okay this was also something very strange so so let's discuss this in detail before we go ahead okay the photoelectric effect this this we did in in the last video so you can refer to that fine this was also a phenomena that that could not be explained by whatever we we had known uh, we we told you that during the newton's time uh, it was thought that light is is a particle nature right particle nature okay then came the maxwell's electromagnetic wave theory and it was found out that light was a wave and we saw that there are so many phenomena that could be explained only when we took light as a wave nature so it went from a particle to the wave nature and, and we were ex able to explain so many phenomena okay now came came another now came another now came another phenomena called the photoelectric effect photo basically means light photo means light and electric is electric is the 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 production of electric current due to light right electric is 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 electric current okay <clears throat> Now, actually, what happened was, if if we we had a metal plate, we had a metal plate, and it was irradiated by, it was irradiated by light. By irradiated, I mean, <clears throat> if you light it up with light of of certain energy, <clears throat> okay. Say, say if it was being irradiated by by light of certain energy that fell on it I'm showing the wave nature of light if it fell on it then it had the impact of releasing electrons from here so 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 the electrons here they'll go out of this metal and moving electrons constitute <coughs> constitute electric current Correct. <clears throat> now let us try to understand this phenomenon. No, no sooner than this light falls and this electron gets gets released from here and tries to move away. Let us say, let us say, the electron after after getting released from the plate due to the due to the energy of this this ray has come here. Immediately, this plate becomes a charge of plus one e. Because now we have a deficiency of the electron here, correct? <clears throat> While this electron is carrying a charge of minus 1e. So, so this is plus e and this is 
this is minus E. Immediately, there will be an attraction between the two and this electron will tend to it will it will tend to come back so 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 due to this attractive force on it it has a tendency to fall back <coughs> okay it was seen that there is a minimum energy required for uprooting an electron from a particular material okay the the minimum energy the minimum energy that we require to uproot the minimum energy we require to uproot to uproot an electron from a metal plate is called the work function is called the work function of that material okay is called the work function of the material and is denoted by is called the work function of the material and is denoted by and is denoted by phi naught okay that is denoted by phi naught okay now the experimental setup that was used okay the experimental setup that was used looks something like this looks something like this okay this is the 3d representation of whatever was happening okay this is the 3d representation of whatever is happening okay this so 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 let me let me first of all explain what it is all about this this is an evacuated glass tube you see that this one okay this actually has a nozzle somewhere here where you apply an evacuator okay uh, a kind of compressor working in the reverse that sucks out the air okay while this end is sealed and you evacuate it <coughs> this is this is a is a, is, a, is, a, is a plate which is photosensitive okay and this plate is connected to the negative to the negative of the battery okay this is connected to the negative of the battery this end is connected to the positive of the battery a and this is the battery here and they have tried to show that 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 this is this end is negative and and, and this end is positive okay this is the positive end of the battery. This is the schematic diagram. Maybe in an examination setup, you cannot draw this, so you should draw this. This is an evacuated quartz tube, okay, or a glass tube. This, this is a is a voltmeter that measures the voltage across this, okay. <coughs> and this is the negative that is connected here. This is actually a rheostat which, which applies a variable voltage across this. Okay. There is also a facility of flipping, flipping the negative and the positive polarities. Okay. There is a, a facility of flipping that. So, so you can later, some, some later point of time and we we'll require that you can make, make the negative as, as positive. So, so this this end can later become a positive okay and this end will later become a negative so we should be able to flip that okay they have not shown it here for 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 avoiding the complexity but otherwise there is a commutator arrangement here which does that okay just a flip of of a, of a switch will do that but but they have not shown here they have not shown the 
the window okay they have they, they have shown it to be to be just like that it, it's not something like that it is rather something like this okay for allowing the for allowing the light to fall okay this thing okay so you should draw that even even if they have not drawn we should draw that okay so 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 this this is from where the this is from where the light falls right fine now our experimental setup is ready we are ready to go what happens is we apply some voltage across this right or, or we start by not applying any voltage across this and and we shine a light of some frequency some monochromatic light a monochromatic light is light of only one frequency mono is single chroma is color color is due to frequency okay so so we say when we say monochromatic we mean actually single single color and by single color we mean actually we mean single color because chroma is color and single color in physics means single frequency this is a technical term and it will keep on coming across you here as well as in optics many a time so you should understand so whenever i say monochromatic light i am actually hinting at a light of only one frequency so the normal white light that we see that won't do why because it has got at least seven frequency the vib gyor right so this light has to be of of single monochroma okay the white light that we see is polychromatic many chroma it has many colors right and and we can we can we, we can do that by dispersion we can separate out those colors just by just by shining a beam of light on a on a on a prism. on a prism right good so so what we do is this that 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 we leave it here then we change the voltage okay so this voltage starts becoming negative okay this starts becoming negative and this starts becoming more positive right now let me name this this n a let me let me use a darker color let me name this end a and this end as b okay whenever 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 end a is negative a is negative and b is positive we call the voltage okay we call the voltage as positive we call the voltage as as positive okay we call it positive whenever whenever a is negative whenever a is is opposite to this that means a is positive and, and and b is negative we call this voltage we call this voltage voltage as negative okay get that now let's try to understand we already know that electrons are negatively charged particles i have taken this plate as negative okay earlier it was zero then i have made it negative now if it is negative and this is positive this will repel the electrons is it not the negatively charged plate the moment an electron tears away due to due to the falling of the light the moment that electron tears away what happens what happens the moment this electron tears away the red one i have shown as an electron there is a repulsion between this negative plate and the negative charge on the electron and 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 this positive charge starts attracting that electron so that it actually sets on its way here correct 
Now the moment an electron travels from here to here, it constitutes a current. Let us try to understand. There is no material medium. Whatever air molecules were there, that too we have removed. So what happens? Suddenly the electron travels for this distance in air. Is that okay? It travels all that distance in air, okay? So all the while it travels in the vacuum and constitutes a current. Now, it might have so happened that, that the electrons, some of the electrons due to their kinetic energy might have traveled here and, and gone and stick on on this glass some electrons here might have might have gone and stuck on the glass now what happens as you start increasing as you start increasing this this the 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 current will keep on increasing right as the voltage increases all these electrons that otherwise are getting wasted here and go, getting stuck on the glass and are not reaching this this anode this is an anode right from the cathode, they are not able to reach the anode, they will not constitute a current. Okay? They will not constitute a current. So, as you start increasing the voltage, what will happen? All the, all the electrons that get released from here, they will go and stick to this anode and as they do that, they will constitute a current and will be recorded by this ammeter here. Correct? So, so this was sought to be captured as a graph so what we did we will draw our first graph and what we'll do is 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 we'll keep this as this as the voltage this as the voltage and this as our photoelectric current okay when i say i it is photoelectric current because the inducement, the, the whole cause behind it is the light falling here. Okay? The, until and unless the light falls, there is no current there. Right? So that is the first thing. And it was seen that, that the current had a strange kind of behavior. It rose from here and... And kind of got saturated like that. Why should it get saturated? The same reason that I told you that all the electrons that were released here due to the impingement, due to, due, to, due to the impact of the light on this plate, they actually went here and constituted the current. Now, now you cannot have more electrons than were being released from here due to the impact of light. Okay? So that's why it, it took a, it got saturated. That means it increased no more okay for a given intensity okay so for a given intensity we we have to keep when we are dealing between two parameters we have to keep the other parameters as a constant okay so this voltage the voltage between the plates that was increased okay this negative this positive and and we got this now what we did we flipped it we made this positive and this negative and i said whenever a becomes positive the left hand becomes positive right hand becomes negative we treat the voltage as negative because that is unnatural that is not, that that will do what if you make this positive this positive and this negative if you make this positive and this negative what happens the moment this electron tries to go here the positive the positively charged plate the positively charged plate will try to attract it back and as it as it continues on this journey this plate this plate will try to repel it so they are trying to oppose you right that voltage that voltage configuration will try to oppose you so what happens the moment slight negative voltage is applied this current starts going down and a, a negative voltage comes in where it it dies down okay where it dies down that means whatever whatever electron is here whatever electron is here 
due to this repulsion from this plate and attraction from this plate it is not able to reach there okay we record that voltage where the current goes down to zero and and we we note it down here so we say this voltage is 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 minus v naught and we call this the stopping potential we call it v naught is the stopping stopping potential okay we call it the stopping potential this is the kind of graph now if you had decided to increase the intensity you'll you'll see that the stopping potential remains the same at a different intensity at an increased intensity stopping potential remains the same and the graph looks something like this okay this is for <coughs> this is for i2 if i had increased my intensity further it would have gone like that and it would have become i3 okay maybe maybe let them be no confusion this is i1 this is i2 let, let, let me erase this okay let me erase this okay that that removes the confusion fine so so now i3 is greater than i2 is greater than i1 right that that's how and that's why it happens fine now what now what so this is the first graph then we decide to vary the intensity we decide to vary so 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 this is what this is this is potential versus photoelectric current graph photoelectric current graph right current okay you should always name the graph that that is a that is a good practice and you should inculcate that whenever you draw a graph you name it what what it means okay and, and maybe name name the figure as figure one okay that helps you now i go ahead what i do i i make another plot and this plot now is between now this plot is is between the intensity i i i draw intensity here intensity and and current here and by current i always mean the photoelectric current so i name this figure 2 i name this figure 2 and and say this is this is intensity versus versus photoelectric current photoelectric current okay okay now this graph so what i do i keep the voltage the same and I keep this intensity zero. That means I do not shine any light at all. And if I do not shine any light, what happens? Obviously, there will be no, 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 no current produced and hence, hence the current is zero. As I increase the intensity of light and try to plot that, by intensity I mean brightness, I, I, I mean watt per meter square that is falling on this plate. Watt per meter square, okay? By, by intensity, I mean by intensity intensity is nothing but but watt per meter square right so so as i do that as i do that i see a linear dependence between the intensity and the current okay i see a linear dependence between the two okay that is the second graph now 
let me try to discuss something before we go ahead what happens here is as you as you are increasing as you are increasing the the voltage okay what happens there are electrons with some kinetic energy here then here this 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 red electron okay it has some kinetic energy here and what happens all this kinetic energy when when this comes here and i have applied the stopping potential and it must be stopping just short of this plate when there is no current because the moment it touches the plate it would have constitu constituted a current now this half mv square the moment it got stationary all this ke here that got converted into into a pe okay a potential energy and and you learn in, in class 12 that that if the potential here at, actually what happens is if this is positively charged if this is positively charged and that is negatively charged then i have i have fields in this direction from i have a field in this direction i have a field in this direction okay in in this direction and i will okay i have a field in this direction no no not this positive the stopping potential will come into play when this is positive and this is negative so if this is this is positive and this is negative there is a field in in this direction let me undo that and draw otherwise it will create a confusion okay so so what happens there is a field in this direction okay and whenever there is an electric field in this direction a negatively charged particle actually faces a pull in in the opposite direction in that direction right so as it as it kind of kept on moving as it kept on moving it it was being pulled by the field in this direction still it kept moving and that's why it came to a stop it actually got decelerated and the potential energy that that it has now after traveling through a potential difference of v not is actually given by the charge on it that is e and the potential difference between the plates that is v not e v not okay i i'll elaborate this in in the video that is meant for class 12 but but just here i'm just trying to tell you that just keep that in mind a charge a charge that travels against the field against the field that means against the direction in which it's being pulled across a potential difference of v not will actually have a potential difference increased by ev not okay so all this ke due to the conservation of energy got transformed into a pe okay it got transformed into a pe so that is the second thing now we do the third experiment and and what we do this time is i i try to keep the intensity the same okay so i try to keep the intensity the same and try to vary the voltage okay for the same intensity i keep on trying keep on changing the voltage right um, no i I'm, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm very very sorry here when when we conducted this experiment here we we kept our our frequency constant right what did we do we varied the voltage we also kept the intensity as constant intensity constant and what we what did we vary voltage variable and current variable okay so we actually plotted it between v and i in this what did we and and we took one whole graph for one particular intensity then i changed the intensity so each of these lines correspond to a particular intensity right now i come here what do i do i keep the voltage constant i keep the voltage constant i keep the i keep the i keep the i keep the the frequency constant i vary the intensity intensity variable 
and 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 the corresponding current i i, I note that also is very good right now what we do here is i keep my i keep my in the in the third one i keep my let me let, let me draw the this won't do so maybe i'll have to make some space here okay I'll make some space here okay I'll also kind of bring this graph here otherwise I have to constantly keep on going back and forth right so now what am I doing here here I am I'm keeping my I'm keeping my new a constant intensity a constant okay and I am varying my voltage voltage and I'll correspondingly I'll, I'll plot the current okay now what happened a, a, and it is interesting to see what happens here okay. so so this is voltage this is the voltage and this is the current now what happens if I take the if I take the light of some intensity then I see the current going like that and it saturates right intensity minus is constant this is for a particular frequency new one I have kept the frequency constant throughout right then I kind of change my frequency I make it higher then I see this, this was my stopping potential right then I see that my stopping potential increases my stopping potential increases and it becomes something like that this is new too this becomes new 3 okay this becomes new 3 my stopping potential so, so so what I mean to say is new 3 is greater than new 2 is greater than new 1 don't get confused I said new is a constant and I am trying to vary the new for one particular graph it is a constant then I do it with another frequency and when I am plotting this graph I do not change the frequency get that that means I do not change the color so so the so what happens the the final current the the current remains the same the the saturation current remains the same this is smoother a bit smoother right the current remains the same but my stop it, it affects my stopping potential right okay now what happens now i plot now i plot I plot frequency I plot the frequency versus the stopping potential okay so I keep my intensity a constant okay I keep my intensity a constant I keep my I vary my frequency, I vary my frequency 
I I okay so so and I keep changing the material I, I'll, I'll change the material but when I'm, I'm plotting one graph I'll, I'll do it only for one material so say for material one what happened for material one the stopping potential was zero 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 actually till this point there was no current till I increased the frequency and after this the stopping potential was like that this is for material this is for material one then we come here this is for material 2 this is for material 2 okay okay so what happened as we started increasing our frequency the the stopping potential also kept on increasing that means in a sense we are drawing you know what you know what are we drawing we are drawing this there was a stopping potential there, there was a particular frequency here versus stopping potential second frequency versus stopping potential third frequency versus stopping potential and we saw it to be a straight line okay now there is a problem with all these graphs and they cannot be explained with the help of with the help of the classical theory of wave uh, of wave mechanics okay a wave came as a sudden respite and it explained so many things it was the new fashion but still it was not able to explain this now the first thing that it was not able to explain was was that this whole thing wave could not could not explain these the first thing it could not explain was that that there is a there is a I'm sorry the first thing it could not explain was there is a threshold frequency this is called a threshold frequency there is a threshold frequency new not below which below which there is there is no photoelectric current there is no photoelectric current current whatever be the intensity okay whatever is the intensity there is no photoelectric current below that that frequency howsoever bright the light is now the wave theory says okay according to wave theory what happens your energy energy of a wave is directly proportional of a wave is directly proportional to the amplitude square okay it is directly proportional to the amplitude square so so if this is a wave then then this is called its amplitude okay this is the amplitude and and your energy energy is directly proportional to energy is directly proportional to 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 the amplitude square right it is directly proportional to the amplitude square so so if i am and and energy that is the intensity now what happens if i am increasing the intensity its energy should have increased then why is it not able to uproot an electron that was not explained why should there be a threshold frequency then what happened 
if we calculated everything that all that fell on a metal plate here it, it all fell on a metal plate here and there are so many electrons in that that and it, it went up to the depth of say five to seven atoms then then the the time required the time required to uproot an electron to uproot an electron is seen to be in nanoseconds okay what do we mean to say only 10 to the power 10 to the power 9 seconds okay this is what is seen while from if i calculate if i calculate through the wave theory from wave theory from wave theory it should take should take should s h o u l d okay s h s h o u l d should take about 10 hours absolutely inexplicable okay why why that is happening then you see we we just told you that this stopping potential is a measure of the kinetic energy of the electrons i told you that half mv square is equal to e v naught get that it is equal to e v naught if that is the case okay is e v naught if that is the case then 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 my my kinetic energy you see as i increase the frequency my kinetic energy is uh, i'm uh, the, is increasing so i'm saying that the, the third observation is that my my ke is is directly proportional ke of the uprooted electrons right ke ke of of ejected electrons of of ejected electron is directly proportional to the frequency is directly proportional to the frequency this is what we are observing while here only we saw that energy that is energy is is contained in the amplitude which is the intensity so actually from wave wave increasing the intensity increasing intensity should have should have increased should have increased the the ke of electrons and by ke of electrons we means nothing but the stopping potential that is stopping potential okay now what do we see what do we see let's come to this this graph here and let's come to this graph here as we kept on changing the intensity did my stopping potential change no it remained the same no while according to the wave theory it should have changed it should have changed here and it should not have changed here you see it should not have changed with frequency frequency had nothing to do in, in, the, in the wave theory here it should not have changed and there it should have changed what has happened is the reverse of what we were expecting for the frequency it has changed and for the intensity it has not changed that is weird right and all of these are not explained by the wave theory understand the classical mechanics absolutely fails then how is it resolved here comes Einstein okay he he lands and answers something that resolves all these issues and you have a completely new picture of how light interacts with a with a with a material okay and how it behaves while it is interacting with the material